Today we're gonna make a very fun and delicious Greek themed pizza. So we're gonna start by making a tzatziki sauce. First we're gonna grate some cucumber. This is a lot of fun, actually. Right down to the nub. Be careful not to get your fingers. We'll add some nice fresh lemon juice. That acidity is gonna pop. Fresh dill. Chop it up a little bit so it'll mix in nicer. Give that flavor base a little bit of a mix. Of course, can't forget our garlic. Some nice tangy Greek yogurt. A little bit of a nice flaky salt. I don't want it to be salty, but it helps accentuate the other flavors. Always taste things when you're cooking. Our sauce is good, so we're going to prepare the other toppings for the pizza. Red onion, one of my favorite ingredients. And I have these wonderful air fried falafel. You can find the recipe linked down below, but they're simple and delicious and packed with herby flavor. I'm just cutting them up into quarters so that they'll not be overpowering when you take a bite of pizza. Oh, and that's some old tomato I need to use up. So I have a store-bought dough that I've been cold fermenting for about 72 hours after I thawed it. And then for the past 12 hours, it's been sitting out and getting warm. So it should have developed a nice amount of tangy flavor by now. Now, if I can get it out of the bag, then I can just Start stretching it out slowly. Sometimes I even tuck the corners under the edge of the pizza peel to get it to hold its shape for a little bit so it won't spring back and be too small. Let's spread some sauce on there. It's just easiest to get a, a good layer if you use your hand. Spread out our falafel. I'm going to put them cut side up. That way you can get a nice little browned on that exposed surface. Some chopped tomato. Just a little 
smattering. Just rip up our red onion. We just have to remember to be so careful not to overtop our pizza right now. I want this to be an enjoyable exploration of flavor, not overpowered by any one thing. Varugula, it's just a nice little bit of pepperiness. And a little bit of feta, feta. A little bit of nice tangy cheese. Let's call it that. You can already tell this pizza is going to be beautiful once it's baked. Those colors. Ooh, and here we go. My green goddess sauce. You'll find a link to the recipe for this down below. This sauce has tons of flavor and it's creamy and rich. Just a few dollops will take us to heaven. Give it a little shake, make sure I don't have a mishap when I put it in the oven. And then onto the pizza steel that's been preheating at 550 degrees for over an hour. About six minutes later, and we have this beauty. Look at those colors. Look at the leopard spotting. I'm so happy with this. And uh, yet again, I have to thank my wife for getting us a pizza steel for Christmas. It's made such a difference in getting me this crispy crust. smell of all these herbs out of a hot oven right now is intoxicating. And that's how I make a delicious Greek falafel tzatziki pizza. A little hot sauce on it I think adds a nice little kick too. But I only put on the slices that I think I'm going to eat because I wasn't sure my wife would like that or not. But man, is this like light and fresh and overwhelmingly flavorful but balanced. And that's a good pizza.